Okay, next we're going to look at then is types of numbers. Okay, types of number. First one we're going to look at is going to be to look at prime numbers. Okay, so a prime number is a number that is divisible by one and itself. So it only has two factors. And we'll cover factors in another video. So prime numbers then, one is not a prime number because it can only be divisible by one, and not one and itself. So the first number we've got on our prime numbers is two. Okay, now what's special about two in prime numbers is it's the only even number. Okay, thereafter all the other even numbers can be divisible by two. We've then got three. Four isn't a prime number because it can be divided by one, two and four. Then we've got five, seven, eleven. Okay, not got nine because remember nine can be divided by one, three and nine. And then the it continues on like that. 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, and 37. Now, prime numbers often come up in exams, especially at GCSE. So please learn at least the numbers you see here on the board. Yeah, and try and commit those to memory. Because they are so common, top tip in exams is to write out your prime numbers on the back of the exam paper yeah, before you start, because they are so common when they come up in questions. Other types of numbers we want to look at now then, we've got square numbers. Remember a square number is a num that number times by itself. 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3. So 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, and so on and so forth. Again, square numbers, you need to learn at least the first 12 square numbers and the reverse, the square roots. Okay, so those are your square numbers. Your cube numbers then are next, okay, remember a cube number is to a power of 3, so 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And these again often come up on an exam paper, so please again learn the first 10 cube numbers. A couple of others that often uh, turn up, we've got our triangular numbers here, okay? So a triangular number then looks like this. We've got 1, 3, 6 and 15. Now this makes a pattern of a triangle. So there's my first number, number 1. If I add two more dots, I've now got three dots, my second number. If I now add three dots, Keeping the shape as a triangle, I've got six dots. Now I'm going to add four dots, and that gives me ten dots in total. So that is my triangular numbers. The last one I look at is a Fibonacci sequence. Okay, So a Fibonacci sequence is where we take the first number, and then we add the next number, and then we add the next number. So I take the number 1, so 1, and then I've got 1 plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 2 plus 3 equals 5, 3 plus 5 equals 8, 5 plus 8 equals 13, and that is a Fibonacci sequence. Okay? Again, often crop up in sequences, which again we'll cover in a later video. So that then is types of number.